Hello and welcome to the next video of my LCK 2024 preview series where we're going to cover Nong Shim Red Force. Um, a team that definitely went through rebuilding last year and have um, decided to go with the same roster this year, essentially. So the last three years, they went 19 and 17 in 2021. In 2022, they would go 10 and 26 uh, with a roster of veterans um, that just didn't mesh and decided, okay, our uh, Challengers team one summer, let's just bring them up to the LCK level for 2023, and they would go 7 and 29. There was a lot of growth. Um, I think there are some good pieces on this team. Do, does that mean that I think that they should not be replaced? Not necessarily, because we'll get into that. But this team is an interesting one. Uh, average age is 20 years old. It's going to be one of the youngest, if not the youngest team in the f uh, four major regions. In terms of players out, only Quad is gone. Quad went to FlyQuest. I just did that video. That just went up on the channel a couple hours ago. Um, and he's the backup to Jensen. And additions, none. This team is the way it is. So in top lane, you have Din Din at 20 years old. He showed a lot of promise last year. High solo kill player, very aggressive. 87 games, a 1-8 KDA, aggressive. 8-2 CS per minute, 50 KP. So there's a lot of um, potential there, of course. Um, would you like him to die less? Yes, but at the same time, we have to keep it, keep that, you know, keep the player true to who they are. 21.3 gold share, 440 damage per minute, which is 23.4% of damage. On average, he's behind against LCK tops. Something to note for sure. <coughs> Excuse me, dying and then losing lane. 500 gold behind is a lot. That is a lot of gold. Every game that he went even, there was a game he was 1,000 gold behind. 7 CS uh, behind, 245 XP, 20 solo kills, 20 champions played. Standard trio of Kaysante, Renekton, and Jax, 61% of his games. Uh, Melee is the uh, challenger top laner. In 103 games, he did pretty well. Um, honestly, I'm surprised he isn't being considered for an ERL or, or a minor region. 2.6 KDA, 8.5 CS per minute, 55 KP, 21.6 gold chair, 493 DPM, which is 22.5% of damage. I will say a bit of a concerning part is in the early game, he was behind uh, CK tops, 80 gold. 1 CS, 65 XP, had 28 solo kills, and 10 champions played. So, I mean, a lot of kills there, a lot of, a lot of solo kills. So the aggression, similar to Din Din. You know, um, good farm. Um, but at the same time, early game he's behind. So in the mid to late game, they're giving him a big chunk of uh, farm. He's not giving it up to, I don't know, Call Me or Sounda or, or whoever else. Um, hey, Nam in Academy played 28 games, 2.5 KDA, 7.2 CS per minute. He's only 19 years old, 50.6 KP, 19.4 gold share, 586 DPM. LCK Academy was, was a, a mess. 11 champions played. Jihu, 17 years old, played four games, 2 KDA, 7.7 CS per minute, only 37 KP. I don't know what happened in those games. He kind of just was farming mushrooms in his own island. 20.8 gold share, 364 DPM, a different champion every game. Sylvie in the jungle, I would say, is probably the weakest player on the team. Some people thought he was the best one. I thought he was the weakest. Um, 85 games, 2-2 KDA, 5-3 CS per minute, 71-1 KP. Uh, slightly below average relative to, to you know my thresholds. 18.7 gold share, 265 DPM, 14% of damage. On average, slightly behind LCK junglers, 200 gold, 3 CS, 150 XP, 5 solo kills, 11 champions played. Wukong, Vi, Sejuani, 55% of those games. Behind him is Sounda at 20 years old. Uh, in 105 games, did average to above average, I would say, at that level. 3.6 KDA, 5.6 CS per minute, 68.2 KP, 18.5 gold share, 304 damage per minute, 14 gold uh, damage share as well. Uh, meh at 15 minutes, down 30 gold, but up 30 XP, 1 CS. I mean, he might as well be running even. 
11 solo kills, 17 champions played. An interesting player to keep an eye on is Karam. At 16 years old, played 32 games last year in Academy. Uh, three, uh, excuse me, a lot of numbers on the board. 3.8 KDA, 5.4 CS per minute, 70.6 KP. 19.2 gold share, 426 DPM, 9 champions played. Mid lane will be the most contested role. Uh, I think AD carry as well. Fiesta at 20. Uh, left a little bit to be desired. He was splitting time with quad. <clears throat> so you got to take that into account. Um, 69 games. 2-2 two, two KDA. 8-4 CS per minute. 69-4 KP. And behind him, Kalmi is breathing down his neck. 22.2 um, gold share. 543 DPM, which is about 27.8%. Of the team's uh, damage. On average, slightly behind LCK mids. 120 gold. 3 CS, 75 XP. If you just watched the FlyQuest video and you saw how far Quad was behind in his games. Really, you know, you can see the gap between Fiesta and him. 14 solo kills. 18 champions played. Azir, uh, Annie, and Akali. 46%. So Akali, one of his most played. Then we have Kalmi. At 20 years old, Kalmi is more of a carry-oriented mid lane. Mid laner has a, has a lot of potential. I think I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he took the job this year. Last year he did show some some. Uh, I think he played in spring, but he, he showed some promise for sure. Uh, Three seven KDA, nine one CS per minute, sixty nine four KP, twenty two four gold share, six hundred five DPM, which is twenty seven point five percent of damage. On average ahead, 60 gold, 3 CS, almost 200 XP, 21 solo kills, 18 champions played. And then they also have a 16-year-old Calyx, who I expect to play in Challengers all year. 39 games, 3-7 KDA, 8-7 CS per minute, 61-2 KP. So more solo dolo, if you will. We had Kalmi at 69% in 9 CS. Then we have Calyx, who's, you know, 3 out of every 5 kills, probably in a side lane, trying to create pressure. 22.3 gold share, 578 DPM, which is 27.7% of damage. In the laning part of the game, the first 15, he was behind. 120 gold, 4 CS, 90 XP. Still had 21 solo kills in 39 games, though. Very good player. I think this player is somebody to, to keep an eye on. Uh, 15 champions played. Wei Chan, uh, 18 years old. 32 games, 3-1 KDA, 8 CS per minute, 65-3 KP. So leaves a bit to be desired in the farm department. 21.3 gold share, 568 DPM, 15 champions played. 80 carry. Ji Wu at 19 years old. Uh, 36 games played. 2 4 KDA, 10 1 CS per minute, 72 2 KP. So high farm, but did get caught out a lot. Ji Wu very aggressive. Um, but at the same time, I think deserves, deserves the whole year. Um, behind him is Vital. I think Vital should be in an ERL right now and trying to make a career in the West. He's played in Oceania in Japan, and we'll talk about him in a second. Chi will give him the whole year. Uh, 72 2 KP, 25.2 gold share, 581 DPM, which is 29% of damage. Um, on average, behind just under 300 gold, 6 CS, 130 XP, 5 solo kills, 9 champions played. Zaya Aphelios Varus account for 63% of his teams, um, of his 36 games. Keep in mind, this is all summer. Uh, because he did play in Challengers in Spring. Vital, 21 years old. These are um, LCK stats from Spring. In 42 games, he had a 2.6 KDA, 9.5 CS per minute, 63.8 KP. So definitely did worse than Jiwoo. I think that's pretty clear. 24.2 gold share, 548 DPM, 28.3% of damage. And then we get to the, the real ugly part. Down 500 gold, 13 CS, 300 XP, like, that's, he got gapped. He and Peter got completely turbo gapped. Three solo kills, nine champions played. Adai played on the academy team in 32 games. He did pretty well. 3-4 uh, KDA, 9-8 CS per minute, 73.8 KP. 
26.6% of the team's goal. Talk about 1, 1v9. 821 DPM, so he dealt damage relative to that gold. Seven solo kills. In Academy, they have Limit right now as a starter at 20 years old. Um, no stats from last year. Peter at support, first year as a starter for the whole entire thing, um, pretty much. 85 games, 3-1 KDA, 77 KP. They fought around him. Peter made things happen. 129 DPM, so more of a facilitator's true support. Not necessarily an 80 carry support where we see other, you know different styles. 292 vision score per minute, placed uh, seven and a half words every five minutes, a control word every other minute, and cleared one word every three minutes. Kind of makes sense when you look at the stats here that in spring they were so gapped, there's no way Peter's getting any decent wards out. And then in summer, they're also losing lanes, so he's not going to get many wards out. 13 champions played. Rakan, Lulu, Nautilus, 44% of the 85 matches. Double H at 20 years old, uh, 105 games in Academy, 3-4 KDA, sorry, Challengers. Uh, 73 KP, 152 DPM, 3.05 vision score per minute. Plays 7.5 wards every 5 minutes and a control ward every other minute. Cleared just over 1 ward every 3 minutes. So vision also pretty similar to, um, to Peter, to be honest. But at the same time, he, um, he should have done better, honestly. Because if you really think about it, Jiwoo is probably better than CK level. I think we can say that. And then Vital pro should be better than CK level as well, but, you know, reservations, maybe he regressed a bit. So you would like to see him do better. But at the same time, you're playing with different AD carries. Things can get messy. 17 champions played. Oculus is their academy support. 19 years old. No stats to go off of. Irene is the head coach. 52 and 87 in his career. Uh, that's between LCK. I think he had a split as an LPL coach. Um, uh, he's, he he did coach in Turkey, went to Worlds, but um, we don't include minor region stats on here, nor do we, I mean, minor region coaching records or Worlds MSI results with uh, minor region teams because how well are they going to do um, on a minor region team at an international event? 18 and 21 in individual games, so um, in the playoffs. So, this team, 20 years old, we'll see how they do in spring. It's all about growth and getting better. <coughs> I think that Call Me and Calix are really good prospects that are going to push Fiesta. Um, let's see if Jiwoo can keep it up. I think he has a lot of potential. This team could surprise people. I mean, I really do think that sixth seed is completely up for grabs in the LCK. So for, for them to get it would, would not be a big surprise. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And hope to see you again tomorrow.